Okay, hey guys, welcome back, and this is my top 15 apps for Android of 2015. So first one up is L Locker, and that is the lock screen you just saw. Um, so basically, this allows you to get an Android L kind of experience lock screen, and you can change this to KitKat, and there is a premium version. So it's really cool, you get your little foam widget and your camera widget, which you can swipe in from um, to open them apps, and you also can dismiss your notifications, and it looks like the Android L one. So up next is Calculator L. Now this is also to do with Android L, and basically this is the calculator that you get on an Android L stock device. So like a Nexus device with Android L, you will get this calculator. Um, and personally, I think it's a whole lot better than Samsung's one. Samsung's one's just really bloated, and it just looks kind of weird, and I don't think it looks as good. Personally, I use this a lot, and I just think it looks really good. So coming up next is Link Bubble. Now basically this allows you to open web pages in a small messenger, like Facebook Messenger kind of bubble on the side of the screen. So you can minimize this and do whatever you're doing and then just open it again. Um, so I find this really useful and um, yeah, I use it all the time. So you can dismiss this the same way as Facebook Messenger by simply d going out of it, holding down on the bubble and dragging it to an X. So yeah, it's really useful and you can also share this stuff on Facebook. Okay, so up next is Twilight. Now basically this really relieves strain on your eyes. When you're in bed, um, I do use this a lot. Um, basically when your brightness is down and the screen's really bright white, you can make it more of a reddy yellowy color and you can increase the intensity as well if you want to. And I actually find this does kind of work and um, it helps you get to sleep better after using your phone apparently. So yeah, I would definitely go check that out and you can access it from your notification drop down as well. So yeah, it's definitely a go. I would definitely go check that out. It's really useful. So coming up next is DropSync. And now basically this allows you to hook up your Dropbox account with a folder on your Android device and it will automatically sync and back up all the data within that device even when you edit it. So it's good if you wanna have like work stuff in a folder. Okay, so up next is AC Display. Now basically this allows you to get a notification. Um, it works best on AMOLED screens. So the whole screen is off apart from the one, the time and the notification. Okay, so up next is actually probably one of my favorites. Probably the best one I've come across so far. And this allows you to actually add icon packs to any launcher without root. So even the Google Now Launcher, you can add stock Android uh, icons to it, which I had a problem with before. But now with this app, you can do that. So it's really good. Okay, so up next is also another really useful app that I use. It's called iTag Pro. Now this allows you to change all kind of the settings and stuff on your music. So you can change the title, the thumbnail, and all the data about it, the file type, and the album, the artist, all that sort of stuff. And it's really useful. Okay, so up next is one that I do use daily, and this is Blinkbox. This is basically free music, and it is legal. So you can get all your latest music and stuff you want free. You can download it, stream it to Chromecast. You get your stations, and you can favorite them, and it's really useful. I would definitely check this out, and I use it every single day. Okay, so up next is Heads Up Display. And now, I found a lot of Android devices, um, don't have the kind of pop-up that the iPhone has and I do kind of like that because I like to see kind of what notification I get and stuff um, and this basically allows me to do that so there's a light and a dark mode and I will just send a test so you can see so it just pops up like that and you can dismiss it um, or if it's an actual notification you can click on it um, and it will open the app so yeah it's really simple and I definitely check it out so up next is actually one of my favorites as well, which is kind of weird, and this is Showbox. Now, if you haven't heard of Showbox, it's not in the Play Store, but it does give you free movies and TV shows, and you can download them. I have one downloaded here, and you do get them in high definition. So this has pretty much every TV show and movie I can think of, and it is definitely a must-have app. So I will leave the link in the description for that. Okay, so up next is Chord. Now, I don't have many users on this right now since I literally just downloaded it, but it is kind of good, and I've heard a lot of good reviews about it, and you can basically add users and quickly send voice messages between each other, um, and it sounds really good. Um, so it's really simple, and the interface is kind of cool, 
Um, I'm going to add some of my friends on it later, but um, right now I only have one person. Um, so yeah, but I definitely would check it out. Okay, so next is actually really cool and it just makes a little bit better of a calendar. My Samsung S Planner kind of is really bad and it's really bloated and horrible. So this Google Calendar is really good and it totally replaces that. I never use S Planner, but I do use this and it just looks a whole lot nicer. I tend to like Google stuff more than Samsung personally. Um, so yeah, I would definitely check this out and you can add your events there. Okay guys, so if you're wondering what my wallpaper was, it is from Now Paper. And basically this is Google kind of styled wallpapers of different cities in the world. And it's really cool and I do really like this as the cool like Google loading symbol. And uh, they have some really nice wallpapers of all different times throughout the day. Um, so yeah, I do like that and definitely check that out. Now up next is Send Anywhere and this is the last one. This is 15 and basically you can send and receive files to an iOS device, a PC, a Mac or another Android device or um, either way you can send from a PC to an Android or an iPhone to an Android or you can send it any way you can think of and basically this works by sending and then the other person hits receive and enters a code or they can scan a QR code. Okay anyway guys hope you enjoyed my video of top 15 apps for Android don't forget to comment rate and subscribe. <laughs>